Succeeding the duel on Mandalore, Sidious captured Maul as a prisoner and transferred him to the secluded world of Stygian Prime, where the Confederacy of Independent Systems operated the Spire, a prison fortress located in the mountains. Following Olmec's orders, Sidious's vessel was tailed by Maul's Death Watch forces with the purpose of rescuing their imprisoned leader. Having got imprisoned, Maul was exposed to torture at the hands of the Sith, as Sidious told Maul that he still had ideas for his one-time apprentice. Sidious and Maul got interrupted by the appearance of Count Dooku, the arrival of whom enraged Maul. Dooku returned to Maul after consulting with Sidious, with commands from the Dark Lord to learn more about the Shadow Collective and the names of Maul's companions. Dooku interrogated his predecessor by using Force Lightning as he patiently waited for Maul to reveal the information he was in the hunt for. Maul, however, endured the torture and declined to give up any information. Once Dooku left, however, Rook Kost and Gar Saxon of Death Watch raided the prison and rescued their captive leader. The Mandalorians propelled a hole in the walls of Maul's jail cell, and together they rappelled down the mountain and ran away aboard a Death Watch ship. Little did Maul and the Death Watch know that the Sith wished for Maul to escape so he could direct them to Mother Talzin. Maul and Death Watch reunited with more of their forces on Zanbar. After his arrival, Maul communicated with Prime Minister Almac through hologram, where the Prime Minister told Maul that the prison escape was a form of paying back the favor for when Maul released Almac from detention. Back again in command of his forces, Maul regained his dark saber and assured the Mandalorians that the war they had lusted after was at hand. Before long thereafter, the Separatist military under the lead of General Grievous stretched to Zanbar. Grievous hurled all of his forces against the Death Watch, with both sides bearing heavy damages. Maul destroyed four of Grievous's Magna Guard droids in the battle, attacking Grievous himself next. Regardless of Maul's obvious power, he soon understood he could not win this fight. He then quickly escaped after Grievous hit him hard in the chest. With most of his forces demolished, Maul ordered his warriors to withdraw. In fact, it was Grievous who let Maul escape, hoping he would seek out Mother Talzin for help, giving Count Dooku a chance to catch them both. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.